Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the analysis of Yoleno TV. I hope you well from wherever you watch this channel. Now, I want to take you to something that Mike Sonko, the former governor of Nairobi County, decided to issue as a reaction. Nimefikia hata ushungu mwingi sana wakati hii. Afadhali mungenipeleka pale kwa mili ya watoto ya mama. Watoto ya rito wamekufa. Muna suya wabunge 28, muna uwa watoto mia, mia, mia tano. Iyo moyo nani atalipa? Ama damu ijatosha kukunyua na ruto duniani? Tuliambia na uhuru, tutalia na nikwani leo tunalia. Tunalia uhuru alituambia. Mike Sonko issued a statement reacting to the same scenes which were spotted there and reacting to the statement that William Ruto issued at night when he was giving his official press statement. I want to take you to this long tweet. It's a message there that is a bit shocking, but stay with me on this so that we can get to understand what Sonko is telling William Ruto. But before you do that, please like this video. And by the way, I'm so grateful for everybody who have been liking our video, especially the previous video that has performed well, please. And also, please subscribe if you're not subscribed before. And to existing subscribers, thank you so much for your support. Now, this is what Mike Sonko said. Attention, attention, attention. My good friends in State House, this is a wake-up call to you all. If my own son, Alienda, uh, last week, Najana, Archbishop Ol Jackson, Ole Sapit's son, Alishuka Kwagari to join his Gen Z's Med Squad demo, Honorable Mwange Kiunjiri's son, National Regional Police Commander Adamson Bungay's son was also spotted participating in the demos. Many parents countryward gave their kids a go-ahead and blessings to join the protest. What does that tell you? Jana, I personally witnessed a big number of teens, male and female from all Kanairo estates heading to town because they feel it's their time. It's their era and it can't be stopped. It was the biggest demo in the history of East Africa. I'm very happy. Watch our two wengine kwa hiyo ikulu kama kina Faruki Bet and other advisors ETC, ETC. Waache kiburi na madharao na kutumia watu vibaya during campaigns. Wajue wakati they were looking for power using lies and fake promises to the people umeisha. They should know power lies with the people and not their conmanship tactics. You can lie to people, but you can't lie to them every day. You can fool all the people some of the time and some of the people all the time, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. That is Abraham Lincoln's uh, uh, saying sometimes back. My small advice to my good friend, His Excellency, the President, kama ii inchi ikondani ya roo yako, na ulibeba biblia pale kasarani, ukasema utatulinda sisi wa Kenya kupitia the Kenyan Constitution, then return the finance bill back to the sender, huko bunge. And then, as part of a song statement, was a prayer. And uh, let me just recite this prayer. And this is what Songo said. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift to life and your love and kindness. Lord, you have promised that if we ask anything according to your will, you will hear us. Today, we place our country in your hands. Lead us, guide us, and make your face shine upon us. Give strength and hope to those who lost their loved ones in yesterday's protest. For those who were admitted to various hospitals, Father, we pray for their quick healing. In Jesus' name, we pray. So, this is a tweet that was left uh, today in the morning, 7.50 a.m. there, uh, June 26, 2024. And at the time of reading this tweet, it had received massive views, 689.5 thousand views. That's a, you know, that's a considerable number of views for this tweet. Now, I think you've uh, followed the wordings there very carefully. And Sonko is talking about unkept promises, the lies that could have manifested itself and caused this kind of sharp division between the executive and the youths who call themselves Gen Z's. That is the point. I think Mike Sonko, as in this tweet, uh, is a bit spot on. I can say is spot on because the message he has delivered it 
to whom he calls a friend. William Ruto is his friend. That is according to Sonko. And he also blames people like Faruqi Bet and others. Others could be David D. One of them could be David D. I'm not going to mention another one, but David D has been, you know, uh, a talk of the town lately. I know there is something like uh, Kimani Kuria. Kimani Kuria is one of those people considered to be uh, enemies of the youths. Farouk has been rocked, his name has been dropped in here in this tweet. So these are some of the people, according to Mike Songo, who are enemies of the youths. I don't know that you get my point, ladies and gentlemen. Enemies of the youths. So Mike Sonko realizes that his son went for demos. Adamson Bungay, the regional commander, the person who issues directives, especially in Nairobi County, he is the boss there. The police boss in Nairobi County is Adamson Bungay. There's a time you, I saw, I don't know, I, I hope you also saw the video where he had gone to attend, to visit uh, the police the, the inspector, chief inspector, who was uh, who uh, through that accident of a uh, canister that exploded, lost his uh, both hands. So he had gone there, and if you looked at him standing there, and uh, uh, Alfred Alfred Mtua was there, Ab Adamson Bungay appeared to be a bit shocked, shaken, appeared to be I would say, is it remorseful? But the face could tell it all. It is unlike the Abdanson Bungay that people know, the tough-talking one. He appeared to be, you know, as if he has lost something uh, precious to him. But that was the feeling that uh, I saw from his face. So what Sonko is saying here is that Adamson Bungay's son is one of those people who went for the demos. And that also Mike Sonko's son was seen in the demos. We have seen a uh, Jim Muturi's son uh, being, being abducted and the like. And then there was he was linked to also uh, some Gen Z's demos. So we have seen this. That's why even Mwangi Kiyunjuri's son is also part of those. And over the weekend, we saw Ole Sapit say his son also joined the youth demos. So what Sonko is saying here is that if the shootings go on, then even their son's lives will be in danger. That is what Mike Sonko is saying in this tweet i believe you followed the wording i took that opportunity to read that tweet to you because i realized that it's very very relevant to the message that william ruto issued yesterday because i've seen photos of uh, kdf let's see nakuru nakuru ah, yes, no, no, nakuru status banzi boss no no nakuru status boss no no nakuru status eh? boss hapa si kwa mama yako Nani ni nakuru wapi? Boss. Yoni nakuru wapi? Nakuru straight out eh. Yes sir, so angali. Ona yo bunduki. Yeah, hapa hapa na. Mimi hata site send, acha nikalale. Turudi tulale. Ona bunduki hapa, bunduki nitembea. Ona yo bunduki. Boss. Ana watu ngapi? Eh? Ini bunduki gani kwanza ita sijaiona hii. Mshana yo bunduki eh? Nakuru is one of those places which was uh, hit by the demos because there's a target according to wording is that there was the occupy parliament occupy church there's a talk of occupy state house so for that to be thwart, uh, to, to be thwarted Ruto had to involve the KDF so because you know the a million man match the repercussion of it hosting a president that is by law is treason so even yesterday's event the happenings of uh, parliament they are saying it's treason ladies and gentlemen that is what is being witnessed so i wanted to go below there on the comment section and just react please just react let's let's talk about this please let's talk about this just like the other video where we got more than 60 comments for that video of uh, Sudi. This one, let's also talk. We need to talk because from the comments, that's where we build uh, v uh, analysis for most of the videos. So your comments are very important and I wish to be reacting to them. So please just go below there and tell us something about this tweet from Mike Sonko. So perhaps if you're watching this video and uh, you've not subscribed, please feel free to subscribe this to this channel. Also feel free to like this video, perhaps if you had forgotten. To existing subscribers, thank you so much. So Let's catch up in our next video because there are so many things that we still need to talk about. So until you catch up again, please stay safe and stay blessed.